guys. So I'm going to be doing a like four episode introduction for college freshmen, particularly if you're going to UNH. What? Midnight Mania? That was back in like January. And I never talked about it because it was really awful, but they give you free shit. So yeah. But so this is episode one, which is welcoming you to the University of New Hampshire, not New Haven. That is our hashtag like on the Tumblr, where we're not New Haven. That's our thing. Our school existed first. So, part one of this video is the welcome to college from someone who just finished their freshman year, which means in like a couple weeks, you're going to be going to orientation. And orientation is really fun, but really stupid, but really crazy because you're doing so much. Like you're registering for your classes for the fall. You're meeting people who are going to be in your freshman class, so they're going to be in your classes. They're going to be the people who are annoying you on Facebook, on the Facebook page, because let's face it, most of the people are just, about by October, it's usually just people asking if anyone's seen their IDs laying around between this place and this place. That's what it turns into. But, um, but yeah, but you're also in college now, and it's sort of kind of a big deal. Yeah, it it is a big deal, actually. You're paying a lot of money for something that should help you make money when you get out of it. Fingers crossed. But, um, yeah, so just, just some couple tips for incoming freshmen. Don't let people put you down because, like, they're an upperclassman and you're a freshman. Like, don't let people look down on you and tell you that your problems aren't anything because you haven't actually, you know gotten into the whole full college experience yet you know do know what's you know if things that seem difficult or if you miss home or whatever then you know do what you can about it you know call home do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable because now you're in a new place you're by yourself and college can be scary like it, it takes some getting used to and I don't know if, if you know you, there's probably some seniors who never got used to it who are graduating in a couple days but like it's it's something that you have to grow into sorry I keep playing with my hair I, I just showered um anyways and then another thing that's a big tip before I continue with like the really really big important things is find things that you enjoy doing on campus. You know, you have your academics that you have to do because that's what you're in school to do. But, you know, look for things that you enjoy. Like, go find an intramural sports team. Do theater. Do something that has nothing to do with your major. Do something that just makes you happy because it'll help you enjoy your experience more. For me, I, like, did Humans vs. Zombies, which is campus-wide tag that they do at least or once or twice a semester and it's really fun you meet a lot of really cool people mostly who are science majors but it's really awesome so it's you get to shoot each other with nerf guns or throw marshmallows at people it's really awesome um so look for that if next semester when you start college um okay next part of this video money things that most college students don't have okay so Tip one with money. Budget. I can't I can't explain how important it is to budget. And this goes for money and time, but we're focusing on money right now. Because you're on your own. This is probably the first time in your life you've had full control over your own money. Like your own bank account and how you choose to use your money. Your parents are gonna, you know, tell you to budget listen to them because as great as it is to be able to go and buy whatever you want without being questioned by your parents later things are gonna come up and you're gonna need that money and you would have already spent it so budget like put aside enough for like the month like this is how much you're allowing yourself to spend for the month that's it and if it rolls over great if you spend it all good for you but just budget your money because th you're gonna want to do things and sometimes you spend it all so yeah um if you're bad at budgeting try and find a job on campus if you know where to look there are plenty of them 
Like, you can find something probably just about anywhere. Even in dining. Dining is always hiring. Always. Like, they were hiring, like, last week. You probably could have gotten a job yesterday there for, you know, the last two days of the semester. But, yeah. Get a job. That's not, you know, full life advice. That's just if you are bad at budgeting money that you already have, then go get a job. And third part of the money is specifically, very, very specifically, about how UNH is really expensive. We're one of the most expensive public universities in the country. Um, I will, you know, have a breakdown in the links for how much you are paying to attend University of New Hampshire. But, you know, the tuition for in-state, because it changes. It is different for in-state and out-of-state. If you are from the state of New Hampshire, you are paying $13,670 to attend per year. If you're out-of-state like I am, you're paying $26,390 a year. And that's just your tuition. It's not even including room and board and the $8 million mandatory fees that you also have to pay. Um, the, the numbers I just said are also the expected numbers for the 2013-2014 school year. So when we start um, in August, this is what you're, you'll be paying for the year. Um, and then along with that, you have your mandatory fees. And your mandatory fees include your student activity fee, your health and services and counseling fee, your memorial union or MUB fee, um, your student recreation and athletics fees, your technology fee, and your transportation fee. Altogether, I will post the breakdown in a picture or link, um, but the complete, like what you're paying for all of that for the year is $2,826. And that doesn't change for if you're in-state or out-state, it's the same. Um, okay, next part of this video, classes. Okay, so one, UNH has more class offerings than I can even name. And we have so many different departments that I can't even name. So link in the bottom for classes and course offerings. Um, but take classes that you enjoy like if you have room for it like if you're going under in undeclared take like really fun classes like do something interesting um but there are some mandatory classes um and these are your discovery classes and i could be wrong but i think everyone has them like they're your gen eds but they're discovery courses um, and these include your freshman experience class, which most people, people can get out of it. Like if you already, if you took like an AP class or something, you can get out of it because the freshman experience is just English 401. Um, but then you also have quantitative reasoning, an inquiry class, biological and physical sciences that you have to take, fine and performing arts, historical perspectives, social sciences, humanities, world cultures, Environment, technology, and society. Those are all of the classes you have to fit in before you graduate for your discovery requirement. I personally have only finished three, maybe? Three or four, three in my first year. So it, it's definitely doable to, you know, finish all of them if you don't fail them, of course. I mean, I failed my quantitative reasoning requirement this semester, or last semester, fall. And yeah, so I'm redoing that one in the spring, or fall, this fall. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then the last thing is just time management. Just learn how to budget your time. You're going to have so much time to kill when you're not doing homework and studying. And if you let it just sort of kind of be like, oh, I can do that later. I have time to do it. That's when you don't do it at all. You will seriously just, you know, completely forget about the fact that you have an essay or a homework assignment. And then it's just like, oh, it's due today and I haven't done it. So budget your time. And I will see you guys tomorrow with information on housing and campus life because I'm so cool like that. All right. Bye.